Hey everyone, Andy here, uh, back again with part of our Anatomy of a DIT cart series. In this section, I want to talk about the routing and distribution and I.O. within my cart, getting video into the system and back out again into various monitors or into my computer. Uh, how I'm going to do this, so the heart of the system to me, is the matrix SDI router, right? We always want one of these to me in every cart. I have, in my case, a real overkill device here, the uh, Smart Video Hub 40x40. This is a Blackmagic product that takes up to 40 inputs and sends them to up to 40 outputs. And matrix in the sense that any one input can go to any number of outputs, or any input can go to any one output. So I can send any signal any which way. Uh, very important to have this kind of functionality on set. The matrix is important because I may want to send the same signal to multiple monitors on my cart or the multiple monitors on set, right? So and I need to be able to route it between quickly and easily. Uh, there's, this guy is also the Kumo from AJ, which is another smart uh, router system, which I really do like. Uh, in the Blackmagic world, though, we have also these control panels, which I'm, I'm a fan of. This is the smart control. Here is a... Uh, um, a master control system as well. They're basically all designed to quickly allow you to route your signals around on the on the cart. Um, this uh, this one, the smart one, I like a lot because it has quick uh, preset buttons I can define in a, in the computer here. Uh, I can jump, uh, for instance, on this monitor. I can send uh, a signal from this camera over here. There it is, just like that. There's that. Or I can switch my output again and do the same over here, just like that. Um, and then uh, if I have, let's say, internally routed uh, a LUT box, which we'll talk about a little bit later, I could, again, on, on that output, switch between this sort of log image that I have from a camera on the showroom floor here uh, to a, a LUTed image. There's a LUTed image, right? Uh, nice. Same thing here. Uh, log and then LUT. So quickly and easily I can route things around the way that I want. Many of these new systems, these matrix hubs, have software controls as well. Here on my laptop, I can do the same thing. Output 2 gets input 1. There you go. Same way, uh, just as fast. Again, routing is very important uh, on, uh, on the cart, in my opinion. So uh, that's one big component of routing. Have it in there. I have a diagram that I'm going to post online with this post that shows sort of the wiring of the cart, so you get an idea of what you could do as well. Um, along with that wiring diagram, you'll see uh, I.O., computer I.O. is part of it. I.O. meaning inputs and outputs to my computer. I'm using, in this case, kind of overkill as well, the Ultra Studio 4K from Blackmagic. This is a Blackmagic 4K SDI HDMI uh, uh, system. Works over Thunderbolt. I have a Thunderbolt feed here into my laptop or a Mac Pro, uh, and then I can get uh, 4K video or just HD video. In most cases on this cart, that's all I really need is HD. Uh, into my computer for, you know, capturing uh, video or stills, very important stills, or, or using a software-based uh, scope, which I'll show you uh, later. Uh, having this is a bit important to me because grabbing stills or video so they can show a DP or reference of what we captured earlier is important. So having some kind of I.O. is very key. I have a couple other options here, which I, I like. The uh, AJA IO XT, and they have a 4K version of this as well. It's a great piece of hardware, very reliable. And then I have the Ultra Studio Express from Blackmagic, just very affordable, uh, small box, even powers off of Thunderbolt. So uh, both good options to have in that space. And there's tons of different small versions from Blackmagic you, you could try. They all accomplish basically the same thing. They just have more or less features. So IO, routing, uh, it all comes together for me. They're all building blocks uh, in the system. Uh, up next, we'll dive even further into the individual components, so stay tuned for that, and we'll see you next time.